Okay, our next speaker. Here's what's funny. Uh, my wife and I spent 10 years in Austin. Our daughter went to University of Texas. So we're big UT fans, but my sponsor, my beautiful sponsor, Elizabeth Riley, love her to death, Elizabeth. She's been bugging me for literally 15 years to go to a Texas A&M game. Okay. So last fall, we went. First time to watch a Texas A&M game. Just so you know. And I sat next to this gentleman, and I've known him for a couple of years, but he's kind of famous at Texas A&M. He was a football star there. He went on to be a number one draft pick of the Green Bay Packers. But guess who they played last year? Alabama. And Texas A&M won that game. So that's the only game I'm going to, to Texas A&M, because it was awesome. But he told me all their uh, traditions. And he, he, after he got out of football, he started a real estate company in College Station. And he built it big. And he says, Gene, my biggest fear was when I came to EXP, I wanted to make sure if I trained my people, they would stay. Do you think stock and rev share keeps them? What do you think? Right? So he, he is a, a little bit famous down in College Station. Uh, everybody knows him there, but I want you to get to know this gentleman. Let's give it up for Terrence Murphy. All right, y'all, let's get our energy up in here. Y'all know what time it is. So if you heard me speak, y'all know what we're gonna do. So when I say give me two claps, you give me two. When I say give me three, you give me three. And then I'm gonna say EXP on me, EXP on three. And then y'all say it, y'all with me? Y'all ready? All right, let's, let's see if we can work together as a tribe and a team here, all right? Give me two claps. A little more energy, a little more energy. Give me three claps. Give me two claps. Give me three claps. EXP on me, EXP on three. One, two, three. EXP. There we go. So Terrence Murphy Sr., um, excited to be here today. I don't have a lot of time, I'm gonna talk fast. So my story is uh, obviously NFL, played at Texas a and went to the NFL, was in the Aaron Rodgers draft class. If you don't watch football, you know who discount double check guy is. Um, he was my roommate, he was my best friend. I'm proud of what he's doing, back-to-back -back NFL MVPs, and now he's killing the game. Um, so when I left the NFL, I started a brokerage uh, after doing development for years, and people kept telling me, why are you starting a brokerage? You need a franchise. And I started an independent, and in eight years, we took it from zero in sales to 1.1 billion in, uh, in eight years in College Station. So I'm telling you that to tell you I'm passionate about production. We're going to be talking about production. We're going to be talking about how to build an organization. But remember, there's no rev share without production. So we're going to be talking about that. Now we have 20 companies under Terrence Murphy Companies, and we're investing in another 30. So I have about 50 companies in my portfolio, and I'm investing in more. So joined EXP April 2021, had an amazing woman. You know who she is. We call her Queen E in our organization. But Elizabeth Riley stayed patient with me, poured into me. And, and where's she at? Where's he at? Thank you, E. Love you. And so she had my back in that transition. So I've been here now 15 months and uh, already 2 x icon. And we're going to keep this thing going. So organization, actually, we didn't get a chance to update it. So we're actually at 190. So we're right at 195, 200 in our first 14 months. Uh, so excited about that. Real quick, I want to encourage you guys this. When you see these big numbers, don't be discouraged. We all got to start somewhere. You look at Brent Gove, you look at Gene Frederick, you look at Jay Kinder, some of these people have built these great organizations. They started somewhere. And the key to anything in life is building it one brick at a time. You got to put that first brick down and you build on top of that. So I just want to encourage you, don't get discouraged, be motivated and be inspired by their story because if they can do it, so can you. So can you. So obviously with the successful, why EXP, right? Because you're probably saying if you did a billion in sales, 1.2 billion, why did you move over your brokerage? I'll tell you why real quick. For one, the model of the traditional brokerage is broken. It's broken. And we all know this model is life-changing and what it's doing. 
and it's given everybody a seat at the table and we're able to do amazing things. And so I just want to encourage you to know that you're at the right place at the right time because we're going to build something effing amazing over the next three to five years. So just know that it's coming. So the real estate industry also did not give us an exit strategy. We're just on the hamster wheel. We're just doing more deals. We're going on more open houses. And you guys have all been in that place where you hit a wall, right? And you're exhausted and you're tired and you don't feel like you got other options. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. You got to create other income streams and that's why you're here learning about how to build an amazing organization so that you can get off that hamster wheel that we call sales. Now you can balance both, but it's an opportunity to think about and talk about. So the reason that I brought over my independent, because I want to talk about that. If you guys haven't been paying attention, there's a lot of brokers coming to eXp right now because they're tired, they're exhausted, but they're prideful. So if you're talking to a broker, just stay patient. That day will come. Elizabeth talked to me for four years, but when that day came, I was ready. And so these people that you have relationships with, don't panic, don't get uh, inconfident about it. They're coming to eXp, I'm telling you. Everybody's coming to eXp. They're coming. So the reason that we brought over our brokerage was to not only create multiple income streams for our agents, but to give them a seat at the table. It is truly the most amazing model in the game, and I've studied them all at a high level. And obviously liability, leverage, but more than anything, expansion and reach. So when you think about building an org at eXp, once again, I want to encourage you. What is your UVP? What is your UVP, your unique value proposition? So we built a 50-point value proposition. Well, probably of the 50, 38 of them are eXp. And then we put our sauce on top and said, this is what we're going to do over and beyond the amazing model that we already have. And so when you're thinking about it, understand what agents need and understand what brokers need and what they want. And you're like, well, who should I talk to? How should I talk to them? Find your niche. Mine right now is broker owners because I've been in that world. I understand their pain points and I'm able to go over um, those pain points in a way where I'm not making them feel bad about it. I'm giving them tools and I'm saying, okay, so your, your margins went from 30% to 20% to 12% and here's why. You need to look at the model. You need to look at eXp. And the question I always ask him, I think I got this quote from Lars. He said, a lot of agents have been, you know, approached about eXp, but have they been approached correctly? Have they studied the model? And every time that I talk to a broker owner, they tell me, man, you really broke down the model to where it makes sense to me. You didn't rush through it. You didn't just throw up in my face. You listened. So let me give you a nugget. I've been being recruited my whole life since I was 15 years old. And the one thing I'm going to encourage you on is this right here. Listen to hear the person. Do not listen to reply. So if you're asking these questions to these broker owners, these agents, and you're just ready to reply with value, you're not going to convert. So you got to reply, but you got to listen and you got to hear their pain points. And then if you think about it, if you truly can hear their pain points, you're going to insert value because the value is there. So when we think about winning and how we're building an organization, obviously creating a vision and a roadmap, right? You have to create something that people can plug into and their life can be easier, more efficiently, more profitable, okay? So when you think about that, our value proposition that we focus on is teaching agents how to scale, how to sell more real estate, how to set up teams. My team did 100 million, my personal team did 100 million with five agents in College Station last year and I went on two appointments. That's, that's learning leverage, curating a consistent experience. Think about when you go to Starbucks, whether you're in New York or LA, you get what? A consistent experience. So as you're building out these organizations, you gotta be thinking about that. So I'll read this quote real quick. You have to create a big enough ecosystem to where people feel like they can achieve all of their goals and dreams and never feel the need to leave. That's what we're building at eXp. We're building something that people don't need to leave. You literally can achieve everything you want to achieve sitting in this room. 
It's a no-brainer. Yeah, let's give a hand to that. It's a no-brainer. So, so the word is build, right? That's, that's what we're focused on. It's build. So let's transition. As we build these organizations, we never need to leave the foundational truth, which is production. Production. We got to sell real estate, guys. And so many people get a misnomer and a myth about EXP. I would say something bad, but I'm going to keep good words about that. But we're going we're gonna to focus on production. So give you a quick nugget when you're thinking about production. It's going to be I, we, and they. I, we, and they. And I guarantee you, if you study any company that's scaled and done really well, go read the book Good to Great. That's the model. It's got to start with you first. Then it's we do it together. And then at some point, they do it without me. And that's through processes, systems, repeatable systems. And remember, you cannot track anything unless there's a process in place. So as you're thinking about and you get overwhelmed with, man, I want to sell real estate, but I want to grow an organization. Let me encourage you. You can do both. You just got to build out the repeatable systems and the processes. And then the last thing, this is something that is, as you're growing your organization, because you guys are going to keep doing amazing things, personality profiles change my entrepreneurial career. If you can understand how to read personality profiles and put the right people in the right seats with a disc profile, it will save you so much time as you grow your organization. Because you guys all know, people get in an interview and tell you everything you want to hear, and then three months after, you're like, man, this person's not following the process. So when you're thinking about production, this is how I took an independent brokerage from zero in sales to 1.2 billion in eight years. Now, I don't care where you're at. We're in College Station, and at 300,000 sale price, that's a lot of production. And it wasn't with 100 agents. We never got over 42 agents. So we focused on production. The average agent does five to eight transactions a year. Our average was 39.5 because production is what matters. OK? OK, so as you transition, you build these great organizations. I want you guys to all be thinking about this. We need financial literacy. I'm very passionate about teaching this. Obviously, I don't have time to get into some of the things I'm doing. But here's why savers will never win the money game. So as you're growing a real estate sales business, and as you're growing a rev share, if you're saving, then it's going out the back door with what? Inflation. Does anybody know what inflation was last year? Record high, 8.6%, almost 9%, got up to 10%. So if you put that money in the bank and you're not investing it, and you're probably wondering, Terrence, why are you up here talking about this right now? Because we have to have it. You cannot sell your way into building freedom, and you have to understand you have to do something with the cash that's coming into your account. And I'm passionate about seeing you guys win. Because Glenn Sanford said it in Cabo last year, true freedom is going where you want, when you want to, doing it with anyone at any time. That's true financial freedom. That only happens. You can have a major rev share, but if you're not getting that cash to work, then it doesn't mean anything. So here's some topics I want you to do your own research on and think about. I want you to strengthen your knowledge in financial literacy because as real estate agents, I have a heart for you guys because I'm a real estate agent. But it's just like the NFL guys. You guys have seen so many NFL players make good money. Make good money. And then you hear the story of what happened. They went broke. And if you think about real estate agents, how many retirement parties have you been to in the last 30 days? <laughs> Seriously. How many? So you got to be thinking about that right now. You cannot sell real estate forever. I don't want you to sell real estate forever. So I'm going to show you some income streams that we're going to build. But right now, OPM, other people's money. Leverage. Velocity of money. And a financial statement. Here's my homework for everybody in the room. If you do not have a financial statement built right now, you need to do that tonight. Go and Google financial statement templates. They're free. Build it out. If you got questions, hit me on Instagram. I just got back on Instagram. If you got any questions about it. But you need a financial statement because as you're building out your wealth, building out your empire, 
you need to know what's building wealth for you, what's building your net worth. And we know assets minus liabilities equals net worth. And then the last thing, multiple income streams. Multiple income streams. It used to sound cool to have multiple income streams, but if we didn't learn anything in COVID, it's a necessity. Raise your hand if you think multiple income streams is a necessity. There it is. So I'm gonna show you. We need to transition from realtors to real estate entrepreneurs. According to the IRS, most millionaires have seven income streams. Okay? So here's seven I wanna go over real quick. Then I'm gonna get out of here. I want you to take, take those slides, take a picture of them, but I wanna encourage you guys. You got into real estate, I can almost answer the question for you because of freedom, because you work for yourself, because you're an entrepreneur and you dictate your own schedule and you got into real estate for all these things, but what happened when you got into real estate? It turned into a job. You didn't dictate your schedule. Clients calling you at 10 o'clock at night. You didn't set up the processes so you always felt like you were behind. You didn't know what you should give away. Should I get a transaction coordinator? Should I not? All those things comes into becoming a real estate entrepreneur. Because I tell people all the time, we do not get the credit we deserve as realtors. We do not. We do more than just sell real estate. We read uh, balance sheets. We run calculations. We do our taxes. We deal with marketing. We hire and fire. Man, there's so much that we do. We do HR, lead generation. The list goes on. So be thinking like a real estate entrepreneur because that's what you are. If you didn't know that, I'm telling you now. So seven income streams, one is active. Get to a place where you know every year, I can tell you every year what I'm gonna make in GCI. So I've been at EXP now for 15 months. I capped in seven days, I iconed in a month and a half because it's about production. And that's important. So that's where you're wondering, like, if this guy's been at EXP for 15 months, how, are we, how is he already a 2X icon? Because of production. So sales and deals is the foundation. Building a network, you're here. Make sure you're not just sitting in the back trying to be cool. We're not in high school anymore. Introduce yourself to people. Build a network. Number two, residual income. Do y'all know what residual income means? That means it grows when you sleep, okay? Not gonna get into it, but Sustainable Equity Program, Icon Agent Award, and Agent Equity Program. Some of you guys came from franchises. You were paying five to 10% in franchise fees. So why are you not on the Agent Equity Program? It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Keep paying the 5% and buy the stock at a 10% discount. No-brainer. Number three, grow a team. Individual agent versus tactical teams. If you are a lone wolf, or the super agent that thinks you can do it all on your own, you're gonna get ran over in this new market. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you because you're a part of my tribe. We gotta get ready. You need a team. Think about it. You got 18 hula hoops you're trying to spin while I got a team of amazing people on a Henry Ford model. We just do our part in the process and we curate an experience. I've done 6,000 transactions in the last eight years. I know how to scale. And I'm telling you, if you're competing against me as an individual agent, I'm going to run you over. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So you got to set up a team. If you don't know how, reach out to me. I will give you my book. I will help you. I will show you. I'm not here trying to plug anything. This isn't about me making more money. This is about us building something great together. Okay? Let's go. Then Rev Share. People get so bent out of shape about this. Don't recruit. Let your vibe attract your tribe. Let your vibe attract your tribe. If you reach out to someone and they're, you know the word, asshole about it, <laughs> move on. God has somebody else for you. So just keep it going. And so think about it. You can introduce, attract, or recruit, whatever you want to do. Attract. And then number five, which this is just on there, it's a template. I'm not saying you need to invest in anything I'm doing. <laughs> but I built out um, a way for my agents. I think if you're in real estate, you guys should all own real estate. You need to own what you sell. If you don't own it, 
then find an equity firm that you can invest in passively and learn. But you need to be investing. So these are the seven income streams that anyone that joins my organization, there's two things that I focus on. Number one, I teach them how to scale. And from 50 million to 150 million a year, some people in my organization, 180 million a year, I show them how to do it. Then I tell them off that income that you're making, because you're making great money, you're making just as more than some pro athletes. Now let's go invest it. Let's put it to work. Robert Kiyosaki said it best. You have a career or your money has a career. What is your money's career? All right, last couple things. And then become a certified mentor. Give back. Give back. That's the culture at EXP. If you guys went to my, my course inside the icon world, we had a great time. We, we, we had a blast. We were dancing on the stage and everything else because that's what this is about. And then the last thing, obviously dividends. So if you need me, I'm here. I'm a part of this tribe. I want to see you do great things. But before we close, if you've been in Clubhouse, if you've been in my room, we have a Clubhouse room every day. It's free. It's just EXP people from all around the world. And we just do Q&A every day. And we talk about how can we help each other. So my thing I want to close with, if you've been in my room, y'all know what we're going to do. So we're going to go, let's go on three. One, two, three. Let's go. There you go. See y'all soon. <laughs>